Have you ever imagined never having to buy new batteries for your flashlight again? Well, get ready to be surprised by a creative, effective, and economical solution that will not only solve this problem intelligently, but also optimize the use of materials that would normally be thrown away. Today, you will learn an innovative, simple method that can be done at home. By the end, I'm sure you'll wonder why you never thought of it before. It all starts by checking if your batteries are really dead. With a multimeter in hand, check the voltage of the old batteries. Upon finding that they are almost out of charge, we usually immediately think of discarding them and buying new ones. But not today. Today we will give a new purpose to these materials. First, take a 60 mil syringe, the kind easily found at any pharmacy. Make sure it fits perfectly inside the flashlight, in the space reserved for the batteries. Carefully remove the plunger from the syringe body, as we will need it for the next step. Using a cutting tool, cut the edge of the back part of the syringe body, adjusting the length to the flashlight compartment. By watching until the end, you will discover valuable information that can make all the difference in your life. Don't miss a moment. Stay with us and enjoy every second of this transformative experience. Get ready to be amazed by what's coming. Now take one of the batteries you are going to discard. Using needle nose pliers, carefully remove the positive terminal. Share in the comments which country you are watching from and tell us your profession and your age. I would love to learn more about you, understand who is part of this channel, and create an even more connected space. Your story is important, and every interaction makes our content even more special. Leave your message, and let's build this channel together. Next, cut the tip off the syringe body with a fine saw, being careful not to exceed the size of the hole needed to fit the piece. With everything ready, it's time to ensure the ideal electrical contact. Use solder paste and apply it with the help of a cotton swab to the bottom of the positive terminal removed from the battery. Then with a soldering iron, drip a few drops of solder to prepare the contact. The next step is to take a piece of thin electrical wire, solder one end to the positive pole of the prepared battery. Pass the other end of the wire through the syringe cylinder and position the positive pole at the end, gluing it with a hot glue gun to keep everything firm. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, take the opportunity to subscribe right now. That way you won't miss any of the upcoming videos and can keep up with all the news and ideas we have prepared, especially for you. Together, we can turn knowledge into opportunities and create an increasingly strong community. Don't forget to also activate the bell to receive all notifications firsthand. Your participation is very important to us. With the device body almost ready, go back to the syringe plunger. Remove it and insert a small screw right in the center. Repeat the soldering process on the top of the screw and secure the other end of the wire that is now inside the syringe cylinder. Next, push the plunger into the barrel until it reaches approximately the level of the edge that was previously cut. Now here comes the main secret, the true source of lasting energy. Take a lithium battery, model CR232, one of those used in small electronics. Insert it into the center of the plunger with the positive pole facing down to ensure the correct direction of the current. The fit is perfect. The time has come to assemble everything. 
Insert the adapted cylinder into the flashlight compartment, placing the positive pole facing inward. The result is impressive. When you turn on the flashlight, you will see the light shine bright and clear, powered by the small but powerful lithium battery, which, besides lasting much longer than regular batteries, is lightweight and efficient. This solution transforms a simple flashlight into a device that will work for years, without the worry of constantly changing batteries. The light remains at a good intensity, and the autonomy lasts for a long time. By adopting this idea, you not only save money but also help the environment by giving new use to objects that would normally be discarded. It's technology, creativity, and sustainability working together. If you liked this tip, share it with those who need it and take the opportunity to try it at home. Thank you very much for following along, and we'll see you soon for more amazing ideas.